Okay, today we're going to look at um, the simplest way uh, with R, and it's probably the simplest way uh, you to do it, is a simple structural k-min filter model. And the simplest library to do it in R is with the struct structural time series model uh, library. Um, we'll just look at SPY from 2020-07. Actually, uh, I might move it back. So I've done a bit of research and uh, time is not as critical as I thought. Uh, we'll move it back to uh, 2010, okay? It's pretty big. And uh, we'll just download the data from gets from quant mod, standard quant mod. And we'll check the data with the structural command, str command. Spy is an XTS object. Now herein lies the problem. Uh, I at first had a bit of trouble because I thought it may want data tables or or tibbles or something. You know, they're data tables in an in the tidyverse format. It actually wants not time series data f from the R metrics team, nor XTS or zoo objects. It actually wants TS objects, the basic time series library from the basic um, libraries that come with R. Anyway, we'll convert, we'll just combine the adjusted figures, which is the last, uh, to get what we want. Now, if you see down there, uh, we've got spy adjust. Just move that up a bit, if I can. Okay, uh, yeah, you can see it clearer there. And then we'll convert with the TS box library uh, to uh, the default time series library. Uh, and I've named the variable TSS. Uh, TS box is what's described as a uh, uh, library agnostic time series. Uh, system. It converts amongst all time series and I found it to be really helpful. It's called TS Box. You should check it out. Uh, the only problem I've had with it is with tibble time and tibble data. It doesn't always work with time series um, or tibbles. It doesn't seem to convert those so well but maybe there's something more I need to learn. But anyway it works fine for converting this. And here, so, now why, what the beauty of this library is, nearly all the other R libraries like KFAS and D, DLM and there's a number of others and some have disappeared over the years. You could probably run them on older versions. But this is the simplest method because you don't need to specify the model in the initial fitting of the structure. This fits the model. The others you have to specify the vectors and the parameters up to 12 or 14 before you even fit the model and then you have to run the model which is quite difficult now we'll just run it and then we'll fit it we'll see and you can see it's fitted the level type means that it's a uh, it's a basic simple smoothing model based on an mo integrated moving average a, a very basic Cayman model and there's the fit. And now we'll plot it. We'll put the lines. And we'll put the smoothing over it. And you can see the smoothing um, is almost identical to the line. Uh, that is a result of the fact that there is really very... There is really very little 
more information in stock prices or I wouldn't imagine there's over 8,000 on the US exchanges not all of them would, would be this case but there's very little information apart from the prior estimate which means that the smoothing is almost just the previous estimate which uh, fits the random walk theory uh, I believe in uh, rather a drunken random walk theory rather than I'm not an efficient market man it's not efficient at all uh, it is random that's for sure because when you have thousands of people collectively acting on information uh, the um, concurrence and coalescing of all that creates a lot of chaos um, if you see what I mean and anyway um, we'll, do, we'll, we'll run through this model and one I'll look at Kraft Heinz I think it is K, KHC I think it's Kraft Heinz to compare and that is also pretty closely fit too and then we'll look at the, the classic Hearst of the famous Hearst exponent Noel River data and you'll see that there is clearly a signal in amongst the data there. Anyway, we'll continue on. Move down. Uh, we'll do a forecast using Rob Heinemann's forecast package. And as you can see, there's the data and the forecast is very small there. Uh, let's see if we can enlarge this. You can see it a bit better. It's, it is really just splayed out 50 and 90 50 and 80 percent around the last piece of data as I expected it really doesn't depict any trend at all I only chose 10 time periods and considering that's from 220 at the end okay now we'll go down we'll fit in the Rima fit uh, the classic um, 1 1 model of uh, uh, Garch fame. Uh, error, what's going on here? Oh. Oh, I haven't got the uh, KTS starter. I can't run it without KTS starter. Let's see, where's the KTS starter? Here it is. We'll run it again with KHC. Okay, string, combine, string, plot, convert it to a time series, string, plot, fit structural time series, fit. Uh, that was some debugging, I haven't taken it out yet, I just moved down. Plot lines fitted and the smoothing. And we won't run that last line because that entails running the code up above to fit the Cayman estimate. As you can see, the smoothing is not quite as close as with um, the spy data. There is a bit of a signal there, but um, it's still very close. At times it does deviate to give a signal. I haven't got a forecast for that one as yet, I don't think. I'll, I'll do a forecast in the end. Now we can run this. We can fit the Arima, the Garch style Arima model. We can predict. There's a prediction from that model. And, uh, We fitted the Cayman like. The mod is there. Ah, oh, there's an error there. I've actually got to run to get the Cayman like, you have to get the mods, which I mentioned was so difficult with the other libraries. Uh, here, we're doing it with a neat little loop, for loop. Um, uh, I better run these. I think they're involved. Is, yeah, 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 okay. 
Oh no, then they can't be. No, no, they can't be. Must have to run this first. Oh yeah. As you can see, the pre prediction was uh, none for the 1-1 model. Okay. Now we'll fit it to an arena model. Uh, we have predictions now. There's the predictions. They're all they're all the same. Uh, oh no, the first series was all the same. The second series did have variations. What I plot looks very similar to the last chart. Fit out came in smooth. Came in set. Plot. That's a plot of the came in smoothing estimate uh, there's errors in those uh, haven't run it for a few days a uh, bit dim I've forgotten what that was what those were oh that, oh, that was an attempt that was wrong uh, these were actually working oh that oh that was the forecast that that is wrong something I think it's the uh, uh, syntax anyway we can run it up here in my in the uh, or down here below you can add the where is it oh wrong, wrong one down here uh, I'll go back up you can run it here uh, by running this model again, we're running the by just running the plot again and adding this, the new smooth estimate. There's a new smooth estimate. Uh, the smooth estimate was in yellow. As you can see, the uh, Arma one one model or Arima one one zero model was with a Cayman filter was almost identical to the um, not quite but almost identical to the uh, zero, uh, zero one, um, one one a uh, uh, structural time series Cayman smoothie model uh, slight variation but they're very close not much not much in it and uh, let's see if we can plot the forecast. That's a forecast. It's a broader forecast this time. It's different. Between 32 and I think 35. Uh, which is for interest sake. Uh, estimate the auto arima to see what the actual arima was rather than the forced arimas we gave. The actual arima was a 010 model, which indicates that um, really it's it really is a random walk model. There is nothing, no autocorrelation, and no moving average. And we'll auto plot that, and that's the plot we saw before. So okay, facts. That is basically the simplest model came in filter I can do. Uh, I have other ones to do, uh, KFAS and DLM, I may show later if I feel so. Uh, I'll just run the Nile River quickly to show you um, how vastly different it is. I think Nile River might be at the top here too. No, oh, yeah. The Nile one's here too. Um, the Nile River data is uh, a data set that's included in R as standard. You can see it's quite a different data set to shares. We fit the model, fit Nile, we plot, we fit the smoothing, 
we fit the Cayman filter, we forecast, and we plot the forecast. As you can see, uh, there's quite a difference between share prices and the Noah River data. There is a clear signal throughout that data. It's not clear the si that there is no there is no signal separate from the pre there is no there is no predictability in share prices hardly that there is in this. Illustrated by this, uh, let's go back. Illustrated by the fact that they barely deviate the smoothing smoothing parameters from the actual data okay thanks for that um uh, you can as is well over eight thousand stocks on the uh, u.s exchanges i'm quite sure you could find some that may have nile river characteristics which are predictable but as to whether they're still profitable is a moot point um they may be predictable but may not necessarily be profitable whereas uh, these are not necessarily predictable but they are profitable at times, uh, which is a fact because I trade them, both the SPY and this. I don't trade the SPY anymore. I replaced it with IWM, but uh, it is still profitable to trade. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for that, and I'll sign off, okay?